All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you, just like me. Before I get going with this video, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this album. This is Graham Goble. He's the mastermind behind the Little River Band. And I mean mastermind. I'm talking like Brian Wilson, um, Lindsey Buckingham, that kind of mastermind. I mean, this guy is amazing. And go listen to this album. It will blow your mind. Came out a number of years ago. It's called Let It Rain. Uh, and Graham didn't get a lot of uh, lead singing uh, duties within the Little River Band. He's a fine singer. He's probably one of the greatest songwriters of the last century that people haven't really given enough credit to. Uh, a band that should be in the Hall of Fame. The original lineup of the LRB should be in the Hall of Fame. Just an amazing group. And uh, Let It Rain, a solo album again. Uh, it's just great music. And I'm sure uh, nobody really paid much attention to it when it came out. So I'm telling people to go back in time. Uh, speaking about going back in time, Van Morrison, uh, who essentially defies time because he sounds pretty much like he's always sounded. He's got a brand new song out. It's called Freight Train. Uh, it's a new interpretation of an old song by Elizabeth Cohen. It's from his new album called Moving On Skiffle. <laughs> now, I don't know if he's moving on the skiffle or if, if he's talking about moving on from what the last three years have been, I'm assuming there might be a little of a double entendre in there. Um, it took Van Morrison and Eric Clapton to be the defiant ones. And both of those guys, by the way, sound amazing. Uh, they have not lost anything. Um, as much as the rock media wanted everybody to have a dignified retirement, um, I mean, Van Morrison writes songs in his sleep, and now he's doing a nice reinterpretation of a song from, I believe it goes back to like the early uh, 20th century, according to uh, what it says here. Uh, and the song is great. Um, it's just a great song. It sounds amazing. It's very organic and rootsy. It's the kind of music that I'm, I'm gravitating back toward. As I get older, I don't really enjoy this big, overblown production. I tend to like things where I can hear the instruments, I can hear the vocals, and it's a great stereo experience. If I'm sitting between two uh, decent stereo speakers in my studio here, I put it on, I'm going, hey, that sounds great. And, you know, getting back to the whole lockdown thing, where have all the rebels gone? Why is it that Van Morrison was like one of the only people out there calling it out and writing songs about it? I mean, we're all supposed to kind of just move on, right? The moving on skiffle, we're supposed to move on. Um, we've had recent appearances on television by Jon Stewart, of all people. He went on with Colbert. We also had um, a remarkable appearance by Woody Harrelson on Saturday Night Live, where he said the quiet part out loud. And the audience didn't know what to do. Should we laugh at this? Do we have permission from the overlords to laugh? Because it's funny and it's true. And he called out the pharmaceutical industry. He called out the medical industrial complex, the entertainment complex, whatever all that is. Their wall is coming down. It's definitely falling. And rather than tell people, look, hey, we were wrong. I could be on here every day saying, I was right. I'm sorry, I was right. I had people on Patreon who would argue with me incessantly about this. And I would go, I'm right, I'm sorry. And all kinds of data has come out. Many studies have emerged uh telling uh people like me what i kind of already knew or assumed and it wasn't because i just had a hunch 
It's because, hey, you know, the insurance company reporting uh, an increase in mortality by 20%. Um, the birth rate in the UK is dramatically lower uh, year over year. These are statistics you can go look up. So, gee, what could be causing this, Dave? I have no idea, man. No idea. It's just, it's just random. Everything's random. No cause of death. It's just random. 56-year-old guy. He's uh, in a rock band. Pulp, I think it is. Yeah, no big deal, right? And this has been the mentality. And I haven't really been talking about it as much, but this, <laughs> this new Van Morrison song gives me an opportunity because Van Morrison, not only was he probably concerned about the medical community or whatever you want to call that, uh, he was concerned about being told that you can't perform concerts anymore. It's just not safe and we're going to lock you down. Um, and so he's moving on and he's been moving on throughout the entire thing. Uh, he would go and do a concert if people were going to show up. He wanted to be there to entertain people and maybe make those people forget about this chaos for a little while. And it's just odd. You've got all these muscular rock stars out there, you know, not just physically, but just, you know, they're always speaking on every topic. And most of the time they bloviate and they don't say anything that aligns with reality, but they think they're really important. See, Van Morrison is more low key. He's like, hey, I don't think it's a good idea to do a lockdown. Now, <laughs> They characterize anybody who is against something these days as anti-so-and-so. You're anti. Anti, it's this word now that's attached to everything that's supposed to make the person feel bad. Yeah, I'm anti-child abuse. How's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm anti the government screwing you over by sending money to foreign countries rather than taking care of the people here in the United States. So I'm anti those things. So because that word is attached, you know, that suffix or whatever is attached to the word lockdown. Oh, lockdown sounds like a great idea. Dave, what's what's your problem with the lockdown? Oh, locking things down. Didn't you see all those great videos that were produced on YouTube while you were cowering in your house because you were so scared? There are still people walking around scared and uh, wearing those uh Cult, I'm going to say it's, a, it's, it's cult attire is what they're wearing on their face. If you belong to the cult, then you wear the attire, even though there was this massive study that came out again, I think it was last week, which debunked the entire thing, said no difference, might have actually made things worse. But people keep doing it because they've been gaslit, uh, they've been propagandized. And Van Morrison was having none of this early on. People were wondering, how come everyone is just, my question always was, why are so many people just going along with it and not questioning what's happening? It's crazy. Anyway, Van Morrison has a new song out and he just cranks out uh, the music. 23 songs on his new album, Moving on Skiffle. And I'm assuming, uh, you know, there are going to be some cover tunes and maybe some uh, new songs that he's written here. Uh, Van is set to promote the album with a series of European dates, including March 13th, 14th, and 15th at the Stables in Milton Keynes, England, and on April 6th and 7th at Whitla Hall in Belfast, Ireland. He hits the U.S. in September with a three-night Las Vegas stand at the Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. A complete list of dates can be found at vanmorrison.com. So, you know, I was kind of a Van fan. I became a much bigger Van fan. By the way, U.S. radio stations, um, Brown Eyed Girl, huh? That's it. That's kind of it for Van Morrison. We'll play Brown Eyed Girl. You don't even play Domino, which is a great, fun, upbeat song. But Van Morrison has a massive catalog. And yes, I know not all of it was on the Billboard Top 40 
which means people aren't going to know it if you play it, according to the brains who run the iHeart Media Radio Industrial Complex, because that's what it is. Anyway, folks, uh, one more time on uh, Graham Goebel, who, like Van Morrison, is an amazing songwriter. He's also a brilliant arranger, producer, um, and has some very unique ideas on how to make a song great. And he's also the architect of those harmonies uh, in the original Little River Band. Check out Let It Rain. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a really unique and well-produced album. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Patreon. We're in a new month, the month of March. And it's a beautiful month so far here in Southwest Florida, where I live. Hopefully, it's nice where you are. But if you can afford to help out, it's a dollar a month for Patreon. If you want to do more, that's up to you. Also, YouTube memberships, if you want to support the channel, $2.99 a month. Nothing else you need to do. It's pretty easy. And again, thanks, folks. I appreciate everybody, and I will see you soon.